what a day! What a lovely day! Welcome to Flat Earth Debate. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you're new to this channel, or you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support this channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they're live, and there's also a PayPal link in the info box below the video once it's rendered. But most importantly, if you would like to, like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box below this video to join the panel and express your views on the shape of the earth. If you do join, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected, and if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcome back on the next stream. Please also share the show. Sharing the show obviously increases the live audience, but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel. So please, please share the show. And one last time, if you're new to the channel or you've not done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. Now we are joined by Arwin, Chocolate Saiyan, Flat Earth Head, that's we've got John, Ranty, Sleeping Warrior, Stiggy and Adam. I assume it's Walt. It is Walt, isn't it? It is. Walt Flat Earth. Flat Earth. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Hello Late again. Flat Earth debate. We're going we're gonna to head over, everyone, hopefully. Um, Hello, Nate. Sorry, I was trying to get my mute straight. I haven't been on Hangouts in so long. We use Skype, so I was fumbling to find where the mute button was. Yes, it's Walt <laughs> Flat Earth. Ed. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate Good it so much. You. <laughs> Good chat about Coriolis in the, uh, in the break. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we only got halfway through the housekeeping. I think we got as far as a pressurized system next to a vacuum, but that did actually get covered. But nobody brought up M. Scott Veach, son of an astronaut, or actual living astronaut, Buzz Aldrin. So I don't know if anyone wants to tackle that as the opening to the housekeeping, because we've covered curve and axial rotation in the last show, 373. So check it out if you want that bit of the housekeeping. But in the meantime, <laughs> we'll move on to pressurized system next to a vacuum, which, as I say, did get touched on in the last show, but I think that's a good point to start off. Right. So that's even theoretically completely impossible, no matter what you do. Are you saying that even in your wildest fantasies, dreams, that you would never be able to come across a, a position where that would be possible? Well, you can imagine it, but if you apply logic to it, no matter what, angle you're using it's never going to happen well and i've that, tried we agree, we agree. Like I, I even theorized like okay if you centrifuge a closed room with air in it up to like eternal speeds like so incredibly fast it is just monstrous like a, a hundred million rotations a second then even in that a vacuum would not start to appear in the center point. Sorry, Arwin, I'm not being disagreeable when I say this, but the RPM is kind of irrelevant. You know, super, super fast RPM is yeah. great, but it's more the rim speed, the edge velocity that counts. So mm -hmm. when you, when they talk about RPM with Earth, they're like, well, it's one rotation a day. It's nothing. It's really slow. No, You'd hardly no, no, notice no, no, it. No, I'm not, not even, I'm just, just universally. Like, is a vacuum next to a non-vacuum possible and then I theorized okay maybe if you rotate something incredibly fast within a vacuum or sorry within a yeah a rotating chamber then maybe a vacuum could appear but the more I think about it yeah no it's, it's just never going to happen there's going to be minimal pressure maybe but a vacuum never that, that's how I see it so, yeah, a vacuum next to a non-vacuum in an open system is just completely impossible, no matter how, what you do, no matter the setup. I think just even just on a small scale experiment, you can't set up an object going from a non-pressure to a pressurized system. Yeah. Without, well, that, that's without what a, my example was basically for. Yeah. Try to figure out, could it somehow enclosure. be made possible? And I, I think just no, no, it's just not. It's never going to happen. Yeah, these people think that the air... Uh, gets thinner and thinner. It just and then you ask them, okay, well, when does the air stop? Like, when's, when is the circumference of air? When does it stop? Is it the Kármán line? Because what is that? And then they say, well, it just it doesn't stop. It just spreads out. And then some. I I had someone say that there's been air molecules millions of miles away, 
and that gravity is still pulling on it. Like this, these are the kind of people we're dealing with. They can't, they can't even answer you when the air stops because yeah, it's, it's almost like it's a, it's a different domino uh, that just went down, but in a different direction and they, and they can't stop it. Yeah, it's well, funny that you mention it because when you talk about atmospherics, they will basically admit, okay, with the distance, like the, the total content of it, it will grade down. Like it will, let's just say, half every so distance. But if you do that, if you constantly half the pressure, then technically it will never end. Yeah, but wait a second. Where'd you get pressure so at? So if you put an eternal space out there in front of it, yeah, it's never going to happen. It's Where'd you get pressure? Hang on. Who's Flat Earth Baba? Hey, how you doing? Can you hear us? Speak up, please. I'm mm, going to have to go, I think. He's got his camera on. He's looking at us. I cannot believe it. Ron Burgundy has just given me $2 in the super chat. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Mark Taylor gave you $5. It's his confession money. What the hell is going on? Ballers are giving me money in the super chat. I'm absolutely Mark lost Taylor for words. What the hell is going on? It's the sun. It's the heat. It's his it must confession be. money. They, they missed you. They missed you. We did have a gap made for George. And uh, people in the chat are saying, don't do it, George. Um, you know, we, I'm not going to shout at you. I'm not going to be horrible. <laughs> anyway, uh, hopefully back, George hey, will join. Hey, back, back to the back to that discussion. Yeah, do uh, it, George. Well, hang on, wait a minute, wait a minute, Mark Taylor. Just just wanted to say, Mark Taylor, I think he's paying you back, Anthony, because he owes you a thousand pounds or something, doesn't he? So maybe that's him <laughs> starting to pay it off in installments. We'll call it nine hundred ninety-eight now. Then. <laughs> well, while we're uh, well, still on housekeeping, just I'm a thousand determined. more shows to go, and you'll uh, you'll have it back. I'm determined to get to the end of housekeeping. So, any signs of ah? Uh, um, I don't know actually. Who are? No, I don't know any experiments to do uh, to find R. Well, experiments is a dodgy word at the minute. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, I don't know. Dodgy about experiments. Yeah, ruler next to it. Hold on, so. I've got it. That's a you. What? What is dodgy about experiments? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't manipulate the radius to prove the causal effect. <laughs> oh, sorry. Correction then. Globe head experiments in quotations are dodgy. <laughs> yeah. Scientific experiments are just scientific experiments. Hmm. Where you have yeah. to independently manipulate the independent variable, right? Well, it wouldn't be a scientific experiment if that didn't occur. Oh, right. So what would it be? Would it just be like another story? It would just be it's pseudoscience. A, it's an affirming the consequent for a logical fallacy. If P, oh. then Q, Q, therefore P. Yep. <laughs> For example, yeah, I... if we have a rotating hey, listen, Earth, hey, hold on, hey, Owen. If we have a rotating Earth, we will say a, see a 15 degree turn in a gyro. We see a 15 degree turn in the gyro, therefore we have a rotating Earth. If P, then Q, Q, therefore P. Also, not limited to, if we have a rotating ether, we will see a gyroscope turn 15 degrees. We see a gyro turn 15 degrees. Therefore, we have a rotating ether. Utter horseshit. Affirming the consequent. Guilty. Flat earthers everywhere who do this. Yep. Nathan, we need to say, we, you need to change the letters in the, um, you know, when you say if P, therefore Q, Q, therefore P. You can't do P and Q. J and Z. Yeah, that's fine, because Channel Q gets all excited when you mention her name. <laughs> that wailing witch. Preceded by if P. Me. If P, come on. If P, then Q. <laughs> yeah, well, if she can get excited about that, Q. then she's got some sort of sexual deviance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we need some other than P and Q. Quick sec to bring it back to uh, Coriolis. Did they think that the gyros uh, are affected? So if, do they turn 15 degrees in one place of the Earth and then uh, the opposite way in the other part of Earth? Oh, that's a good one. I mean, you know, and if what would happen on the equator? Because I feel like if the Coriolis is there and it's, and it's a ring laser, then why wouldn't it turn the opposite way? I don't know. I, I, I'm very mystified by this whole concept of a gyro supposedly turning... For whatever reason, because as far as I know, gyros, there is a way to basically change their direction. And that has been proven uh, through 
uh, well, their application in airplanes and such, and that is that they do seem to deviate with a sudden burst of force with a turn. And that's why the the special valves were created, as it were. So Arthur, that is just really hello, weird. Flat hello, Flat Arthur. Hello. Hello again. Hello. Good to have you. Can we hear you? No sound. You know, I heard him, but it's very low sound. Is he on cam? So just for the benefit no of the panel, George says he's going to join in five minutes. Five but he minutes. He doesn't want a shit show. So I yeah. guess what we'll do is we'll let, let John have first blood. And then once that's out the way, if he's still here and survives, then we'll come back to the Ampers law and the uh, the Boyd Sivart law. Is, is Adam in the hangout? Because I don't want to kick this guy that's just joined while he sorts his sound out. If Nathan, else... I was literally just typing, I'm off for me tea, guys, so I'll drop. Um, Get okay. out. I, I kicked him out. <laughs> okay. Adam. Just for fun. <laughs> Just for shit and giggles. Just for shit right, George, giggles. the panel is open. Poor Adam. That's Get in here, George. Bad. I kicked a That's good harsh. friend just to have you in. <laughs> no, I'm only really joking. Adam, we all love you. It was just a joke. It's just for comedic just a effect. I friendly promise. kick in the balls. <laughs> it was just for comedic effect. I don't want to have to give any apologies. God damn it. Hey, and Arwen, just notice that what just happened there, it was a joke, yeah? Yeah, yeah. We can't kick each other and be friendly about it. Uh, well, that's maybe not bullshit. Just that's bullshit. Leave, no, 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 no. That's bullshit. Ranty owes Arwen an apology for that. I don't care what you say, Anthony. No, no, that wasn't my point. My point was that we can give banter and it not be offensive. Yeah, but Ranty kicked Arwen and it was like shooting No, and I agree with you. I agree. Ranty does owe Arwen an apology. Not that we're going to do that right now. Fire. If Ranty doesn't... No, it's not fair to just spring this on and say, demand you apologise. No way. But um, yeah, you know that's maybe not going to happen anytime soon. Just, just ham-handed segue away from that right away, which is to say that people might be questioning why Brian Mullen's name's in this title. So... I heard his name uttered by John a moment ago, or well, on the last show for people who are watching four, uh, 374. On 373 um, is the cause and effect of why we have this title. So, John, can you explain what you have explained on 373, please? Yes. Well, I got it from a pretty good source that the whole ordeal that Brian Mullen went through, somebody contacted his employer right about his beliefs i i would suppose and of course brian mullen uh didn't show up anymore after that and as you know he did a bunch of videos that was exposing these pretender clowns right now number one <laughs> they it's a tell because if if brian wasn't over the target you know launching Volkswagens at these guys and wasn't a threat, they wouldn't do anything. But it takes a real scumbag or scumbags to get together, dox the guy, and then go after his, go to his employer to, to try to smear him, to try to like censor him, right? Which, which they prevailed. So listen, it just, I need to take a shower after this. It, it, it just, it just, <laughs> It just irritates me so bad. I want to jump through this mic, and and that George, his, that dog is smarter than you, brother. We have other unfinished business to go through. We're gonna test your science acumen, clown, as soon as you come in here. So get ready. Well, first things first. If he does, and when he does join, I'm sure he will. He said he would. Um, I'm no, uh, I hate to say this, John. No ad homs. Please don't call him a clown. Okay. We'll just try and keep it clean. I've promised John. I, normally, I wouldn't care, but I've literally said to him on yeah. the on the last show, "We'll be nice." So let's just try and be nice. He yeah, said I'll he didn't nice. want a shit show, so let's not yell at him before he gets hey, here. I'll, I'll be nice, but my the clown comment that's not an ad hom. That oh, is a <laughs> clear that is a clear conclusion as a result of assessments of our interactions of his claims to me. So let's I'm, just get that straight right I'm, now. I'm sure, I'm sure that will you're become not, apparent. You're not motivating him to come in. <laughs> but for those who are uh, green to this show, shall we say, it may appear like an ad hominem attack in advance of your conversation with him. I'm sure that will become apparent. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to become apparent. I will go on mute. If he joins, I will go on mute and I will stay on mute. And I'll just listen in. 
Is this is this guy a teacher? Or is he an educate? Does he teach science at school? The guy that you want to come in? Yeah, he thinks he's a physicist or some baloney doing his equations, right? Equations, math isn't physics, clown. Well, I've just I found it curious in this whole thing that a lot of these people become like professional educators on the heliocentric model and they don't like do you guys want do they want to teach for a living the heliocentric model i mean some of them say it's a hobby but how like is this something you love so much or again do you have to do this like is is he paid to do this is he paid to come in here and you know, or do you think he actually loves it so much he wants to teach everybody the heliocentric model? Who knows what the intents and motives of these crayon munching globe tards are? I can really care less. I'm just going with their claims. I've I've been told literally thousands of times, and I know most of the people on this uh, in the flat Earth on this board or or in this hangout have been told that according to the body of science, Amen that we have to deny all of science to believe in the flat earth, right? We've all been told this. Yeah, I get that all the time. So I'm holding their feet to the fire. This is, this is the feet to the fire. Yeah, Hang it's out. interesting because it's not that all science is being denied. It's in particular space. Nigger space feet. is the main Nigger thing. feet. Nigger space, feet. space, 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 Nigger space. To, to be specific, well, we're, den we're denying flat earthers. We're Hold on, flat earthers. Do not say you deny space. It's very specific. There is no vacuum of space. Right. That's I'm, I'm saying the, the point. Con the concept of what space is, uh, the space program, uh, anything revolving that with gravity. That's the thing that alternate earthers, which I like to call because. You know, flat earthers, it's, it's, we're past that now. It's not, we're not going to label. I mean, everybody's looking into their own earth and, and what it is. But, yeah, I, I, I feel like we're not denying <coughs> electricity. We're, we're not denying magnetism. Oh, George, All right, hold on. Not... He's here. George, no, hold on. Everyone be quiet. George. Let's check it. It's George. Came on the place, hold. hold on. Is, that, is that actually George? Yes. Hello, Nathan. Oh, you're a bit hey, quiet. thank you for coming yeah, in. Hold is, on, everyone, just be quiet. Is. I need to sound check, George. Say, 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 George. <clears throat> Can you all be quiet okay. while George speaks, please? Oh wait, here, hang on a sec. Is this any better? Hello. Yeah, that's I can good. Hear him. That's good. Is my audio coming through okay? Perfect. Good to have you, George. Thanks for joining. <clears throat> yeah, as I um was uh, mentioning to uh, Mr. Riley on uh, Skype, I don't have a, a lot of time. I just like to uh, limit things to, I will address the uh, Brian Mullen issue for John, and I will uh, address the uh, Ampere's law and the uh, Beale Savart law uh, regarding the nature of the uh, Earth's magnetic field. If that's agreeable, then uh, I'll continue on. Yeah, go ahead. Mark's all yours. Uh, regarding uh, this uh, Brian Mullen uh, issue is I have been, uh, oh, for uh, over a year now, been uh, vilified for uh, his uh, disappearance on the uh, flat earth scene. And um, I've been, it's been unjustly so. People have uh, uh, misinterpreted or misread uh, comments. There's been rumors spread and uh, apparently uh, John here uh, likes to uh, jump onto the rumor mill too. He keeps demanding evidence, but yet he hasn't presented evidence. All he's doing is uh, using anecdotal rumors that he's come across and uh, using that to try to uh, vilify me. I'll just set the record straight here, is um, the reason Brian Mullen left probably well, he obviously left on his own accord. Nobody forced him to leave. Uh, Google didn't shut down his channel. He shut it down himself. Um, I have had a conversation with him at one time. And I, prior 
um, on, on many of his videos, um, uh, one in particular is episode three regarding the um, Kepler's law and uh, gravitational um, acceleration and uh, uh, the derivation of Kepler's law. He really botched that one up and I produced a video over a year ago, a year and a half ago uh, to answer that. And I pointed out where his mistakes were. I'm not gonna go into it right now. People can watch uh, my video uh, if they wanna see where I explained where he went wrong in his derivation. But what got me to produce that video was in his episode three, uh, the last 10 minutes, he went on this um, uh, soapbox uh, uh, monologue about how uh, equations were manipulated so that we would worship the sun, that the earth didn't matter in the um, Kepler's law, that the mass of the earth uh, dropped out and that didn't make any sense. And the whole reason why in his derivation, the mass of the earth dropped out of the equations is because he assumed all of the mass of the earth moon system was centered at the center of the sun. And that forces the mass of the earth to drop out of the equations. But if you do it more accurately and look at the um, center of mass of the earth moon system, this earth, earth's mass does not drop out of the equations. So, uh, it was just all a bunch of nonsense he's going on about why um, the equations were manipulated to make the uh, math uh, mass of the earth drop out. What he was doing was he was using a very simple derivation that's normally done in maybe high school classes and stuff, and it uh, ignored the uh, true nature of the problem. It was a very simplified um, derivation that is used usually to uh, show, you know, beginning students of physics is uh, a very simplified derivation of Kepler's law. So anyway, uh, long story short, I produced a video um, to show where he went wrong, and I called him out on it. And I also commented on many of his other episodes showing where he went wrong in a lot of his uh, claims regarding like um, why the ISS doesn't burn up in its orbit about the earth and things like that. Uh, he he um, totally uh, avoided the whole concept. There, there There's three mechanisms of heat transfer. You've got conduction, convection. Yeah, hey, listen, listen, listen. Let's stop so right anyway, now. So anyway, the no, thing is, no, bottom no, line is, no. Uh, Hold on no, here. Bottom no, line, we're tired is, of this narrative that you got. We want okay. you to put. We want okay. okay. No, I'm. I'm. We getting don't care to it. about just, your fairy just be tale. Quiet here a second, over John. Him. Just let me get to it. Hey, Nathan I'm, said he could have his talk. Come well, on. he did. Now, and it's now, been long okay, enough. Okay, I'm just setting up the background now. Okay, after seeing many of his videos, and seeing how he was misrepresenting science and the use of mathematics, <clears throat> I started calling him out on it. I sent open letters to him expecting responses. He did not respond. And he was claiming in many of his videos, he was using his credentials as a professional engineer to add validity to what he was saying. And it was very puzzling to me because I'm a professional engineer too. I have taken all the professional engineering exams. In fact, I'm even a um, exam writer for the national board. And the <clears throat> it just seemed puzzling to me that anyone that went through the EIT process and took the professional engineering exam could botch up the physics as badly as he did. So. I was suspicious as to whether or not he was really a professional engineer. So I did some inquiries. I called the uh, Florida State Board to see if he had a license. And I found out that he did. And I checked to see if it was active and if there were any complaints filed against him. And I found that 
his license was active, it was in good standing, and there were no complaints filed against him. And I had a little discussion with the board on um, just regarding engineering ethics and what they would consider to be um, a violation of uh, the professional engineering license and they and whether or not there had been any um, complaints filed against Brian Mullen, they said uh, that there had been some uh, uh, inquiries and complaints, but the board wasn't going to address them because they didn't feel that his activities outside of his professional career was any concern that the board uh, would involve themselves with, and they weren't uh, going to take any action against, they hadn't taken any action against uh, Brian Mullen. They really weren't interested. So anything that happened George. to Brian Mullen was George. not due to the board. Yes, go ahead. It's good to hear that at least they would basically just leave his life his life and not punish him for whatever he was doing outside of his uh, profession. So yeah, yeah well, anyway, Riley, can, George, oh, could I respectfully yeah, well, interrupt at this point? Go ahead. Why would you inquire about that status of jo uh, of Brian at that point if it wasn't for malicious purpose? Exactly. I was curious as a professional engineer whether or not he had been uh, disciplined because it just seemed to me uh, what he was doing with his videos was totally out of character and out of line for a professional engineer. But don't you think that he's got the right to question the authorities and he has the choice to decide what, what well, his yes, religion is? Well, yes, he does, but not under the purview of claiming that you are a professional engineer. Now, if he wants to go and produce his videos, he's very welcome to do so, but he should not be um, um, uh, flashing his credentials out there. If he wants to enjoy... The way you're flashing your credentials yeah, exactly. and the protections that exactly the, the way you're flashing your credentials, professional engineer, he needs you. to adhere to the that's ethics. right. And engineers aren't scientists to begin with, you definitely ain't. You're doing the same thing you're charging him with. Yeah, I, I, I tend to agree. I think that if you were to challenge his license <laughs> in any way, indicates <laughs> malice because I don't see why, and ultimately. What's it got to do with you? What his beliefs or views of the world are? But did he anyway, do that? can challenge me all they want. You can check on my license. You're, you're welcome to George? do so. I don't care. Did George? I haven't did done anything to... Um, uh, uh, George? No, is he challenging? Hold on. Hold on. I mean, can at, you let George reply? You're, no. Look, I'm not going to have five people talk. You're with a profession where money changes hands, where you are in... Uh, you are given public trust in order to uh, well, competently well, okay. perform the duties yeah. of your job. What I, suspect, can I ask a question, please? Look, what I suspect has happened here is that I, did, okay, people claim that I called employer. No, I've never called his employer. I don't know where he works. All I know is he does work in North Carolina from some of the things that he said on, in his video, but I've never called his employer. But I had commented to some video, there was a uh, video put up, where is Brian Mullen? I, I see that it's since been taken down, but in there, someone did comment that they had contacted his employer, um, but it wasn't me. This, somebody had posted and I tried to get in touch with that person to see if that is indeed true or they're just trying to, you know, sometimes people want to take credit for something that they, um, to make themselves look good. And I didn't know whether or not this guy was really telling the truth or not. But um, I suspect what has happened is videos were out there. All right. It's very easy to check on a person. Cripe. I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, I, I have a Google Plus uh, uh, profile. Anyone can check my credentials. Uh, and when Brian Mullen put himself out there with all these videos, don't you sort of suspect that maybe he was assigned to a project where maybe um, 
the customer may have come across Brian Mullen's videos and started questioning whether or not this guy might be competent to handle the project. Absolutely not. Can I Why please not? ask a question, a straightforward question, Nathan? Yeah, go ahead, Arlene. You know, All right, so I, George, I George, George, please, please, please. A customer George, may please. Yeah, go ahead. Please. I have a, a very straightforward question. Okay, so you have your opinions about uh, Brian Mullen's dealings. What I want to ask you, did you just inquire if there were complaints to, uh, yes, about your, uh, Hold on, hold on, I'm not finished. Hold know. on, I'm not okay, finished yet. Ahead. Did you uh, inquire the panel if there were complaints? Or did you actually file a complaint towards him? No, I never filed a complaint. All right, I that's never, all I, I would wanted never to do know. that. I would never do that. All right, <laughs> that's all I wanted to know. So you're basically just spreading your opinion now. You didn't actually file a complaint. Did that's you? But what I'm trying to tell you people is all you have to do is Google. Hold on, Ranty, let him reply to Arwin first. Board of professional engineers and go to Florida and go to the state board, type in Brian Mullen's name, and you'll find that his license is active and that there hasn't been any action taken against him. The board so if you can type that in, anything. why did you have to call them and stir things up? Just to exactly. question. Exactly, exactly. I didn't point. stir anything up. It just sounds to me it's exactly like Bolden that's what you did. The point. <sighs> don't, don't you don't see, George, that inquiring about the real board world life. didn't look at the board didn't take any action. All right. Doesn't matter. Bottom line, no action was taken. It so doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's a nefarious doesn't. intention, George. Why would you do that? I was trying to determine whether or not there was any violations in the code of ethics. I read the code of ethics and I saw in my, the way I read it, that there was a violation in the code of ethics and I wanted to... So you uh, wanted to really go to Grassy Moor? Yeah, hold so on, you were trying hold to cause on. trouble. Hold on, no, hold on. No, I wasn't causing hold trouble. On, George, I wanted to George. find out whether or not my understanding was correct or not. What was your understanding? What was the violation? Like cunt. Uh, no on. need. I'll, I'll pull up the code for you. Yeah, let's see the put and present it on screen so we can all read it verbatim. Because to be okay, honest, George, just a minute, just a minute. I don't trust you to read it verbatim. I want to read it myself. Okay, just a minute. Hold on here. Look, George is being very forthcoming. I don't suspect he has told any lies thus far. Let's not jump down his case and demand this and that. So far, he's answered every question we have put to him. Okay, now, now there's two things I'm going to do here. I have a thread that I started it, um, in one of my videos called What Happened to Brian Mullen? And I have all the conversation that I've had uh, with others regarding it, and I'll post the link at oh, shoot. I'll post the link address in the side chat here, and then I'll bring up um, the uh, code, and then you can screen share it if you want to do that. Thank you, George. May I ask a question? Yeah, go ahead. So the board that you contacted, are they someone that potentially I could just get in touch with? Well, yeah. Yeah, very easily. Yeah, the the uh, phone call, the phone numbers are there. Um, hang on, I'll even find it for you. Just a minute. Now, uh, it won't let, uh, I'm going to have to truncate the uh, link. It won't let me post because I'm not a wrench holder here. On. Just saying, um, it seems to me if you go over all the rules and just to try to find something to call the board to complain about, it does seem like there's intent to willfully hurt the man. That's my opinion. We're all hey, look, we're, you we're, did we're intentionally all, do that okay. to hurt the man. We're all entitled to our opinion. You can have your opinion, fine. You know, I'll respect your opinion, but uh, I'm telling you the truth of the matter is. Uh, uh, well, that's fair. I was employer. I did not file perfectly. any. You violated him, and your intent was to hurt him. That's what well, I. Believe. No, 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 Jimbo. That's okay. not reasonable. Fine. I'd rather. I'm pretty sure you've answered this, George, but I will just ask it as a direct question. What were your intentions when you did this? When you set about contacting, potentially, you might have been his direct employer on that board, you have no idea, but contacting people who he is associated with and could affect his employment. What were your intentions when you did so? 
I did not contact anyone that was associated with him. I did not contact his employer. Well, sure, All I said is I, I inquired. I understand that. That, that wasn't my question, though. George, George, clarify. sorry. That, that wasn't my question. So, what were your intentions? Why did you do this? I just explained that. I wanted to get clarification as to whether or not I was reading the Code of Ethics correctly. No, you and said before you wanted the board, to a breach of ethics. And what the board's position would be regarding the, uh, that matter. Yeah, but George, to quote you from before, your intentions, you said before, was to see whether there was a breach of ethics. Yes. So that's not what you just said. Well, and didn't you say that he took his videos down because you caused him to do it because of what you said, what was so smart, and that he didn't figure it out? But no, you were... I never said that. I've never made that claim. He took... It surprised me that the videos came down. I mean, one day I went to uh, try to find one of my comments uh, to, uh, I believe it was on episode six. I wanted to uh, do a cut and paste, and I couldn't find the video, and people told me that... Uh, there is all buzz all around the internet at that point in time uh, that uh, Mullen's channel came down. And uh, but do you do you think that you have something to do with that though? No, he, he can't have any idea. That's not a reasonable question. So, George, again, I know I've said, you know, why have you done this? And you said potentially because there was a ethical code violation, and you've kindly posted that link. I don't know if anybody's read it. I'm obviously producing this show, so I haven't. But can you briefly verbalize what you felt was Brian's ethical code violation? Yeah, yeah. Hang on here a sec. I've been trying to get it up. Well, why is she trying to find that, George? Could I ask <sighs> you a question, please? To be um, honest, you, you need to verbalize it like on screen. Show it on screen, not just read it. Yes, yes. Just could I, could I ask you, George, uh, were you... Um, were you familiar with the flat earth debates or the the, the fact oh, that flat yeah. earth was quite, you, quite you so. before this before he actually did his channel so were you familiar uh, with the likes of mark taylor and stuff like this this kind of gem panda res rhetoric were you were you in there no, actually at that this? time actually at that time i wasn't very well plugged into uh the whole uh flat earth globe earth uh debate i was um I had come on to the uh, YouTube scene through, um, uh, it was a Richard Dawkins, uh, Wendy Wright video that I had been commenting on a lot uh, with other people. And um, I met a few people, I, I think it was Rumpus that I first met and he invited me into uh, the ED um, Earth Discussions channel, and that, at that time, then I started uh, understanding what was going on. But uh, before I really started uh, participating in discuss discussing any with the uh, flat earthers and stuff, I had been watching Brian Mullen's videos, and I, I was just kind of wondering what the heck is going on here. I see. So you had in your ear, you had the rumpus and the ED the Earth Discussions or the Earth Discussions 2.0, you had them guys in your ear at the time that Brian Mullin was putting out this devastating Flat Earth Proofs. Yeah, well, actually, I was aware of the Brian Mullen stuff before I, I went into ED 2.0, uh, before I was uh, even became uh, involved with the Earth Discussions group. Okay, so we get, we're kind of building up a, a, a picture here of what's actually happened. That's good. Nathan, can I ask another question? Well, I just, I, it's going to get lost. In the, the, the very nature of this, I'm going to call it grievance. If you don't like the word, I'm really sorry, George. But George's grievance, we don't know yet. But my question is pretty relevant to the subject. So, George, you uh, earlier, uh, in response to my question, stated that you have not filed a complaint uh, to the board. That uh, is correct. Yes. Okay. So, have you actually suggested to anyone on the board or anyone relevant that could make a complaint that there should be made a complaint towards you? No, children? no, no. See, again, uh, just asking. Yeah, see, what you have to understand is the board is not interested in Brian Mullins or any other engineer's activities outside of his professional duties. Now, if the activities outside of his professional duties do start to inter 
interfere with his professional duties, yes, then it will get the attention of the board. But what Brian Mullen was engaged in, had the board has no interest in. All right, so you basically had concern and you made an inquiry and that is it. You have not suggested that somebody no. make a complaint. No. You have not done so yourself. No. No, no, and like I, I'm I say, still unclear, uh, though, I don't George. know anything about his employment status or what he's done, but all I have is conjecture, just like most of you do, is my take on it is that probably a customer may have complained to his employer and the employer uh, may be, you know, again, this, this is, is conjecture. Pure speculation, George. Part. I'm not interested I, 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 I in your speculation. It, no offense, you know, George. Just I'm, speculation. I'm, George, you I'm know, just not I, interested in I you speculating. It came from his employer and nowhere else. It definitely did not come from the professional board. Right. So if the professional board had no issue and you're saying you felt there was an issue, what was the issue you felt there was? Oh, um, yeah, it comes back to this ethical code thing that you were talking yeah, about. Yes. yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to focus on that. Um, so yeah, what's the and tipping whilst, point? Whilst you're focusing on that, can I just state my position? No, I, I didn't know. No, no, I don't want this to round out until I hear specifically what made a man feel like it was necessary to get in touch with people who are definitely in a superior position to another man and potentially risk his career, inquire about whether or not I'd had complaints and things of that nature. I'm just, I want to know the motivation until, you know, if everyone keeps asking questions, George can dodge this indefinitely and I want an answer. Okay, now, um, do you want me to screen share this or do you want maybe... Yes, please. Well, yes, please. It's, it's if not you can... need sensitive data, that would be on, great. Hold on, Ranty, please, I've let you, all of you ask questions. Why is it you're all talking over mine? <sighs> yes, please, George, if you can screen share it and just specifically highlight yes. what it was that was concerning yeah, to yeah. you. Hang on, I'm trying to... Screen share... Um, should be coming up now. Yeah, you've just got the hangout at the moment, but yeah, when, you, when let me know when you've got okay. whatever you want All to right. share. I'll go to it here. Oops. All right, is the text up now? It is indeed. Yeah. Okay, whoops. Okay, here it is. Sorry, this looks like you're there taking it. it from a page called Flat Earth Answers. Yeah, this, this is uh, copy and pasted from the uh, board's code of ethics. Can we see the board of Can ethics? We see that? Rather than Can we see that, please? Copy. Sorry, yeah, Anthony, I've yeah, got this. I'm, okay, I'll do a search on that. I'll, I'll Could bring you it zoom up. in a nudge so it's more readable? No, no, no. I'm not happy with something that's come from a Flat Earth Answers website. Oh, okay. So, no, Especially when I see Brian my Mullen's way. name interspersed okay. all throughout this all documentation right, as if it might be right. a letter or a... Okay, I'll tell you what. So what just was so that? They... Just, just before okay. you go on. Okay. So okay. what was that, George? I'll, I'll just read... Okay, I'll read the points first no. so that you... I want to see it. Hold on. Is this it? where you... Then Hold I'll... on, George. Look at George. Then I'll go to the Shh. site and get you... George. The George. Hello. Yeah. Was this where you got this reference from initially? Yes, I will. But Le just no, 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 no. Just listen to my question. George, about, shut up. Then, Stop look talking. Look look George, look, 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 look. George, look, look, look. trying to ask right, you a question. You keep oh, talking. Yeah. Was this where you originally found this point? No, no, well, can no. Can you show I me where you found it originally? Website of the National Board. Of right, that's what we want to see, George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Good to see that. Guys, look. I'm trying to get there, okay? Yeah, sure. No, get it. Thank you. In the meantime, this is just a copy, a cut and paste to my own video. This is what you see. This is a thread here on my video, okay? I've got all kinds of stuff. This is just my video, Flat Earth Answers and Explanations. That's me at the board, at the, at the black whiteboard there. And I have lots of topics. I have things on... Um, if you see here what's see. just just before you move oh, off it what's the date on this video just in case somebody needs to go look for it um let's see here january 3rd 
2017. Cool. So if someone wants to look at it, they know the date, they can find it. Perfect. But if you can bring up the original source, yes. please. Yes, I'll get there. But if you go, just so you know, in the comment so, section to this video. No, George, right? Please, can you just stop talking about your video and go and get us the source information for why you felt the need to nearly ruin a man's career? Okay. Thank you. In your own time. I didn't, I didn't try to ruin his. Look, just go and get your reference for why you felt it need to call up somebody's potential employer. You had no idea their position on the board. I did not call his employer. Potential. Listen, try and open your ears when I talk. You had no idea whether or not people on that board employed him or not. You had absolutely no idea, yet you inquired about whether or not it had complaints made against him. Potentially stirring the pot, and I want to know why. I'd like to see the original source material you went to and why you went to it. <clears throat> it's just the classic uh, dragging intentionally move. Or just intentionally dragging. Not necessarily. He's got a quick you're right. reference. You well, are, well, you're right. You're right. He could be. He could be slow and not have. I'm his, trying uh, to get there. Stuff. I'm yeah, trying to get a, there. Give him a break. You keep asking me other questions. Okay. Can we have a, a couple of minutes of silence? Would that be good? Yeah. That give you enough time uh, to find yes, it? it would be on account of the fact there's like eight of him, eight, uh, eight of him, eight of us, and one of him. So it's it's there's a lot of pressure on him. Just give him a break. There's a lot of pressure on some of us biting our tongue as well, though, Nathan. Sorry. I, I assure you, my blood temperature is just as high as yours, Walt. Nathan, you should... Find some background music uh, for these people when they're when we're having to wait for their evidence. Well, this is the perfect background. This is the perfect background music. Let's be honest. The silence. Silence is nice too. Sometimes these sites aren't real easy to navigate. Got plenty of time. People in the chat will understand the um, importance of this exact moment, so I'm sure they'll be quite happy to wait a couple of minutes till you find it. Checking on the board of ethics. <laughs> Will I find my tipping point that made me ruin a man's career? But let's not jump to conclusion. Is that George playing the guitar? That's Walt. No. <laughs> Perfect timing. Job, it's just what we needed. Thank you, Walt. Absolutely. To be fair to George, though, George did not have to come on and do this. Not at all. I, I agree. I agree. I give him credit for coming on and speaking the truth from what we were all discerning is actually the truth. From his perspective, anyway. George, maybe you're looking in the wrong place on the website. I I tried to Google it. Uh-huh. 
And have you found it in nces.org about slash publications? And I think there's something about a uh, NCES engineering education standard. There's a link there. Surveying education standard. Maybe that's where you're looking. Just checking. You, you are an engineer yourself and you are familiar with this company that you're looking up, right? This is not a company. This is a licensing board. Sure. So you Wonderful. were inquiring whether or not he deserved to retain they, his license. But they keep... Sorry, just, just, to, just for clarity, when you, were, when you were doing this and in finding out this violation, which you now can't find, you were investigating whether or not he was worthy to hold an engineering website. license. Yeah. Sorry, just, if I can just finish my sentence. Well, have, if I can just finish my sentence, please, George. Thanks. Go ahead. So when you were inquiring, you were straight to whether or not this man was justified in holding a license and being able to maintain his career, correct? No, that's not. Well, you're looking you're, at you're, license. You're, you're, you're phrasing at, it in a way that is. Uh, what makes you sound like a complete shit? Yes, George, that's exactly how I'm phrasing it, and everyone watching knows that. Okay, well, let's suppose he had violated his um, his terms of service, um, and then you put a complaint in. Uh, what would have been the process then? Would you have expected him to be fired? Oh, no, no, the board doesn't have any um, uh, control or management as to a person's employment. All they, all they have is whether or not the uh, license uh, would be uh, deemed, you know, inactive or active. So without a license, he wouldn't have... Sorry, hold on. Person. Without a license, he wouldn't have employment, though, as an engineer, correct? Oh, uh, wrong. So um, without a license... Well, most most practicing engineers do not have a professional engineering license. Hmm. A professional engineering license is only... So required. you don't have the time to call these guys and uh, boards and et cetera and, and stir crap Pardon? up for them? Because it seems like they're violating a lot more ethics than Brian was. Uh, what would you say? You heard what he said. George, please... Yeah. Yeah. Please just Since click you're the such link a white I posted. Horse for the NCEES, it seems like you have a lot of time to make these calls. I'm just saying these guys that aren't licensed need to be dealt with. Sounds like, just from my opinion, I'll stop. Uh, I'm sorry. Look at the the board of professional engineers have no control or any sort of leverage on engineers that are not licensed. But because he was licensed, you felt it was good to go to them because they would have the authority to revoke his license. And a revocation of a license does not necessarily, does not, oh gosh. So why are you putting this caveat in a legal case? Say what? You put a caveat in a legal case. Caveat in a legal The other thing is it's, it's taken you about 10 minutes. Idea. I mean, what? apparently, you, sorry, I'm just, I'm still, still a bit confused. You haven't found this reference, and I'm puzzled as to why it's taking you so long. Because once we get there, well, I'm puzzled too because I can't, I can't. Right. See can you, can you see the side chat? Can you see the that? side chat? I've just had from Globebusters Bob. I've just posted a link. Just it not. says the NSP, NSPE.org site. Um, it should be a PDF that you can actually just click and open it up. Apparently that should hold some uh, relevance for you. So, you know, someone from the audience has managed to bring it up, and I've got it in front of me now for the audience, George. NSP, okay. Code of Ethics for Engineers. Okay, good. All right. I'm reading over it myself. So, well, it's just interesting that something. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Stevie, his... Sorry. So, hold on, hold on. So, have you got that piece of paper? Have you got that in front of you? It's it's been shared in this hangout, George. Oh, uh, let me see here. Shared in the hangout. Yeah. I so, if you go back to it. the G plus page and then hover your mouse in the actual hangout itself, not the not the video, not the watch page. Oh, it's a two page PDF. Hola. That's it. So if you hover over and then go to the top left-hand corner, the blue um, speech bubble. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then scroll to the bottom of the side chat and it should bring up 
a PDF document just posted by, I think it was Ranty. Did you say it was Bob? Oh, okay. the, Got it. Did Got you it. say Bob shared that, Thanks. Ranty? No worries. Who shared that, Ranty? Uh, Bob uh, from Globebusters. Thank you very much, Bob. So, George, have you got that up now? Yeah, I got it. Excellent. So I've just shared your page. So can you just take us to what it was that you thought was necessary to contact a man on YouTube who you had no previous association with? You're back on your YouTube page on your video, just George. Just a minute. It, just hold on. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What, what are you doing? Okay, it's under the register. You're back under, on your YouTube page. It's under um, registrants obligations to society okay so i just wanted to find which section it was so glad this is being recorded professional obligations and with that i'd like to thank the audience Oh no, this is Nathan ends it anytime soon. If Nathan ends it anytime soon, I think I'll go around to his house. <laughs> okay, this has been rewritten a bit since I read it. Um, you could go to the section here. It says 2007 at the top. It's not been updated anytime soon. It's 11 years old, George. Just a minute, something isn't quite right. You're back on your video again, George, it seems. Yes, just a minute. Hold no, no, can you go to the page with the code of ethics, not your YouTube video, and find I'm what it was that you it. felt it was necessary to contact a person you had absolutely zero association with on YouTube and put their career in jeopardy. I'd like you to get off this page immediately, George. You don't seem no, to be listening. Nathan. Nathan, shut the hell up for Don't God. swear at me. How dare you, you obnoxious man. Just go to the code of ethics you thought it was necessary to put a man's career at risk and All show I'm us what it was you felt was what? justified in contacting okay. the board of people who gave him his license. Can you go to George, that page? Not your YouTube video. George, it's numbered paragraph one, so it's probably going to be at the top. See, what I'm looking at, what had me concerned, is what I have here, and I'm trying to compare... Shut up! You... This is a YouTube video! Get this crap off my page, George, now! This no. is your YouTube video! All I'm trying to do is compare... Thank you. I'm trying to find click, the section... Click, click, left, post. click. Left, click your mouse. Thank you, George. Show it's me perfect. in here what... It, you, you're now back on the Hangout, George. Yeah, that's it. Click on there. Show me... What it was that you deemed necessary to put a man's career at risk. That's what I'm You're back on your YouTube video again, George. You can't seem to help yourself. Go back to the code of ethics, the thing you claimed was a justified reason to put a man's career at risk, and show me in that tab. Come away from your video, George. This is not George. what we want to see. Let's give him two minutes, Nathan. Let's give, give him two, two minutes, minutes, Nathan. But, George, don't go back to your video. Stay on this page and find it on this page. Or page two, whichever of page. Uh, There's only two pages. Okay, here we go. Professional obligations. Right here. It must that's be that top one there. Oh, no, 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 no. Anthony, right here. Just, like just, just right here. To it. Um, Maybe you could read them, George. A minute. Your meals shall not, shall be guided in all their relations by the highest standards of honesty. I bet he didn't have this much trouble figuring things out before he made that call to the board. It all seems complicated now. Finding the regulations, finding the board papers. You can't do nothing right. We have to find the damn papers Sorry, George, you've got it. You've got your video back on, <clears throat> which is going to really annoy me, right? You're dealing with quite hot-headed people at the moment that are trying to keep their nerve because they're all quite annoyed at you. Now, I'd like you to go back to the code of ethics that you claim was a justification for putting a man's career at risk and show me underneath the right-hand paragraph that you had up a moment ago. Scroll up. Scroll up. There you go. See where it says professional obligations? Please, can you read them and tell me which one of those you felt was a justification for putting a man's career at risk? Thank you. I wasn't putting his career at risk. Uh, I don't want you to tell me what you think you were doing when you were contacting the board of a man's license, okay? 
just read out what it was you felt justified that most disgusting action that you took, George. please. Well, so George, be hang on, George, George, you absolutely were putting the man's career at risk by ringing the board of governors or the go the board of regulators. I did so, not can you read out, please, what it was complaint. that you felt justified it? We've, it's taken about 20 minutes to get to this. We had to find the document for you. Now I'd like you to read the paragraph that you felt justified with. You just seem to be silent, George. We found it for you. Now I'd like you to read it. I'm trying to find the section that is the one that I was concerned with. Is it unethical? Different. Sorry. No, 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 no. Uh, you weren't concerned with the section from this paragraph. You were looking to ruin a man's career. That's what you were apparently concerned with based on what you found in this document and now cannot find. So you were so concerned based on what you saw in this document that you put a man's career at risk. Now you can't quite find it. Is that correct, George? No, that's not correct. Well, why can't you find it? Did you lie, George? Did you really get the information from a YouTube video? No, I did not get information. Well, you don't seem to be able to find video. it, even though we found this for you. Why did you feel it was necessary to put a man's career at risk, George? Did not put his career... Don't tell me what you did. I am telling you, you put a man's career at risk based on what you have done, and you don't even well, seem to have a justify... Opinion. You don't even seem to have a justifiable reason. You've given one, and now you can't find the paragraph. You're just scrolling back and forth inanely. Read the paragraph that you felt justified in what you did. It was part of the ED discussion. Ranty, read it, George. That's it all. Is there anything there that actually justifies your actions, George? What, what, you should be able to go straight to this, George. You were straight on the phone with them. You've had a discussion about whether or not he's had previous complaints based on this. Where is it? You seem to be not interrupting me and just silent now, George. I'm reading. Show me what you felt justified in doing so against a man you'd never met or had any interaction with. It doesn't seem to be here, George. What, what is it that you were referencing? Nathan, give him a minute. Let him have a minute. He's, he's had 20. He's reading. He may he's be had 20 reading. minutes. This is supposed to be the thing he used. He said he went to this originally, not a YouTube video. You Now he can't find it. I think he's lying. I agree, but I want him to hang himself if he is. Okay. Well, are you still there? Can you play some guitar music? No, 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 let's not. I'm just give him peace and quiet to look. It is really distracting if he's concentrating. Let, My let him have a minute. Yeah, no. Yeah, we found the document he needed for him, so he should be good from now on. Well, it, it is just surprising that he can't remember it, like something that drove him to this much passion to go and investigate another man. And you can't even, yeah. like, usually normal yeah, people, I mean, this oh, this biggest... is what caused my decision. Like they yeah, know it. there's a the sequence of thoughts absolutely. and actions this on, man took to against honest, Brian Mullen are intentional and willful, in my opinion, to hurt the man's career and to shut him up. Well, only he's only, like a, a Stalinist or something. This guy, the but Nazi. he only cares. He only cares because Brian's saying things that are alternative, that about the earth. I agree. Maybe that's it. Exactly. But no, he wouldn't be, be honest, doing guys, this it argument. Has been, it is. A, be it is some time ago that this happened, right? So. No, but the documents from two thousand and intentional. So it's still relevant. Yeah, of course it is, but it's been a while since this thing with Ryan Mullen happened, so he just needs to get back yeah, in. That, that, hang on, uh, that but it, it's just yeah. so absolutely... it's water under the bridge now. Not at all. If I was putting a man's life at risk in terms of their career, then I would absolutely be able to go straight back to the document and find the exact piece of information I needed. Yet here we are, five minutes later, George going back and forth over the exact same pieces of information over and over again. If he's used this document, he would know where the information was. He doesn't. He's trying to pull stuff out of a dark yeah, hole. I, I, I nice. agree. It's, abso it's absolutely suspect. That this guy is out what is and going on. Admit it. Can I make a suggestion? Want to justify it. Just type in the word, do a control and F and type in the word ethic and see what comes up. Let's see if it's mentioned anywhere in the document. What? No, what, what is, this is a different document than what I had read, and that's what's puzzling me here, is that 
I'm trying to find. But you, can't even rem- you can't even remember. Right. It's so, different. So what what are you is- looking for Sorry, specifically? Why is this video on page again? What the hell is going on? Take it off screen. Right. Take it off screen. Why, why are you looking you at your YouTube yet? video again, George? Is it really? Well, what, is this your? This is actually your justification, isn't it? You've got the information from a YouTube commenter. Away. No, I did not get information off YouTube. I copied. Well, you paid. are literally doing well, that did... right now, you complete idiot. Look at what's on page in front of you. It says YouTube. Can you read? What? It says YouTube. Do you read what it says? Top left. Read it. This, this is my. Yes, I know what it is, you complete buffoon. And I'm telling you, I want the official document you used, and you can't find it. You keep going back to a YouTube video. You've put a man's life at risk in terms of his career, and all you can do is reference a bloody YouTube video and laugh. We, we have this thing called Nathan. copy and con form. We need some information from the original document, Nathan, not what you copy, pasted, and edited listen, to your like, Do you know page. what I've what I've done as a, as a content creator? Listen, find. listen. I'm trying to find the document from what as a content creator, on. we save our documents. So if we rely on something, we have a little folder for it, and we put things in it. Why did yeah, it's, you it's save the, the unicorn PDF? document he's looking for? Engineering yeah. unicorns. Yeah. Why did you not save or take a screenshot of the PDF or the, the 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 laws or the rules or the regulations that you were actually reciting from? Why did you not save that on your computer, ready to go immediately? I didn't feel especially, need to especially I didn't that's kind of sloppy, saying, George. Uh, this sort of uh, uh, that's kind of sloppy. Here we go. Here we go. I think basically he's compiling lies on lies, but we'll see. Right, so what's this from? NSPs. NSP.org, right, okay, same. We don't seem to get a text match in that document, though, George, right? Uh, pardon? What? We don't appear to be getting a text match in the document. You might need to do a control F on this page That's and see do you get a text match. Interest. From what I can glance, maybe, maybe you can do it for it. it. Maybe you it can does do it for conform him. to the same kind of things. Can Still wondering what part of that is actually uh, driven you to basically go on the course that you did, George. I'm trying to figure out where this registrant's obligation to society, where that is in this. Okay. Right in front of you, it says it there. Right, I think it was a vexatious act, as they say in law. Well, it's yeah, because you know, Brian went. Brian had a sort of status of education, though, and that uh, worries them. Because f- for right now, where's your scientist? Where's your main scientist that w- that's coming out? And since he had uh, such a knowledge of it and was considering, yeah, the Earth could be flat, that's why they're after him. That's exactly why. There's, there's no other way. He wouldn't be doing this if he wasn't uh, a part of any even yeah. board. I do agree, because ultimately, if the board said that there was an ethical breach, what would then the position be? Would there then be a complaint? Well, he said, I, I thought he said earlier that the board doesn't on, even... On, the board on his part, it took a lot of willful thinking and searching to find something and hunting to find something to try to use against him. There's so much intent and willfulness in this. He's almost liable. It's almost liable for prosecution. Oh, come on. Standing through this document, this PDF file, there is no mention of the word society in any of the professional obligations. There's one mention of the word public in relation to deceiving, and that's it. The thing is, what we've got to realize is that these people, I mean, mean, the, the the Earth Discussions people, right? The Earth Discussions people, they're the type of people that will go around doxing people and creating havoc. Now, if he's ended up in that atmosphere a year ago or two years ago, or whatever, it's what he's going to turn into. It's what they do. The people the hang around rumpus. The rumpuses, the Mark Taylor, the Jem Pandas, the Reds Rhetorics, the Mark, uh, the Sean Hufford. Well, this one deserves an exceptional title, and that's Rat. R-A-T, Rat. Yep. They're just a clique on their own and they think they're above everybody else and they can go around and they can do what the hell they want. Well, this is them being held accountable right now. 
Yeah, if you took this, like, if this was a hypothetical case in court, yeah, there's no way he would be let free. It's, you can't provide anything. He, he's, he, this, he, you could leave this stream on, or we could all go to bed and come back up, and he still wouldn't have it. <laughs> yeah, because he would have had it by now. There's yeah, no he would, he would, he would, we would have moved no on. He heard yeah. something that pissed him off to the point that he decided to call somebody the superiors and the boards and all of that. And now he's come on here to try to explain it, but he can't even find what he was referencing. <laughs> you guys I mean, want me to uh, summarize all of the professional no, obligations really not. quickly? Absolutely not. All right. All right. This is, this is that point, Arwen. This is the moment not to do that. All right, fine. I'll remain silent. Yeah, this is when you let the guy do, do, Hang do himself. it to himself. Yeah. Because yeah. exactly. right now, George, you're really making yourself just look ridiculous. You must be meditating or something. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to attack you in any way, but like you went oh, so far yeah. as to contact people's, <laughs> you know, superiors, and here you, you are trying to good explain it. And you, Sorry, can I just yeah, ask a quick question to George? So, when you originally did this, was this the kind of research that you did on this man you've never met? This kind of trawling through rules and regulations to find something to have on him? Is this the kind of research you did when you found it originally? I'm not going to answer to something stated in such a, a obtuse manner. Sorry, yeah, whoa, was this whoa, the whoa. kind of research you did originally, yes or no, is my question. Because so far, just live, we've spent, what, 15, 20 minutes, maybe longer, with you trawling through various different rules and regulations to find something to be able to contact a board to question oh, somebody's not, integrity. I'm not trying to find something. I'm a little puzzled as to why the uh, obligations to society isn't in here that I had looked at uh, before. Well, what uh, obligations to societies is he not uh, obeying? Well, you're going to object the minute I pull it up because... No, uh, but what you should know. Like, it's you can you remember even a little it up part yet. of it. It's not to... Uh, okay, here, oh, here, here we go again. So we're back to your YouTube video with no citation whatsoever, George. What are you doing? So your reference is YouTube. Right, can I just no, read? Stop. YouTube. There is no cut. obligations to society. Sorry, he in... just said it's not YouTube. So I'm just for the audience's benefit, because George is a liar, highlight where this reference is from. It, it, it says with a red play button, Y O U. And then there's a capital T, U, B, E. So this is a reference from YouTube. Nathan, oh, look at that paragraph. He's, he's found it. He's found it. He's found it. Here we go. Let's see. No, look, he says, one can reasonably argue that Mullen has, has violated several summer. He's took it off screen now. No, it's fine. He's, he's found it, apparently. Let's see. Let's see what he's got. Back to Google. Rules of professional conduct for what enterprise? Has this guy got a degree? This guy's an engineer. <laughs> You're still Googling. <laughs> Jeez. How... Sounds about par with rumpus and all those. Oh, my goodness. Back to the same webpage, George. Yeah, I don't know why. You're just mumbling, George. Nathan, the next time he goes back to his webpage, read the top paragraph that he's put where it starts. Mullen, it can be arg reasonably argued that Mullen has breached several, and then it, I didn't catch the rest of it. Right at the top, there, it's written in blue. One can reasonably argue that Mullen has violated several of the PE rules of professional conduct under the rules bylaws shown in the part below. So let's see these rules that you claim that he's broke. Okay, several you can't of. actually find them. You can't actually find them on the page, so let's just read what you've actually said. No, let's not. Let's let's find no, no, the no, rules. Let's, let, let's read. Well, what he, he sounded said. real sure in his writing okay. about mm, several violations, and he can't yeah, even find he... one for half an hour. Yeah, but this is yeah. hearsay. This is hearsay. This is not real. 
I know, but I still want to see what is what. No, I don't. I want to agree. Really Let's see if I can find it in this document, because I kind of doubt that I will. Darwin, right, okay, Darwin. copy and paste that. Register Darwin. the objective and truthful and professional reports. Copy and paste that. Put it in the actual, you know, control. Is it control F? To, to bring up the search. I mean, because, yeah, I can't wait to see, because I remember what, his, what he mentioned. Uh, he said, I, I, I told him something about Kepler's Law and the, and the ISS burning up. So I'm wondering if it's any of those, if they had ethics from those or if it's about measuring Earth or like what he was actually disobeying. And can we set the number of violations at three as a minimum for several? Because one is not several, two is not several, three, well, maybe it's getting into the several. Right, what's this guy? I I'm going to have to do this for him because this guy is... Absolutely not, Ramsey, no. Leave him to do it. Let him make his case. And if he fails... I find it in two minutes. This doesn't Ramsey, matter. It's not your argument. It's the same point We've against already Darwin. been helpful enough. Leave him We've... to it. Fine. No, no, no. Go on, fine. I mean, See, one can I'm reasonably assume... Everything. One can reasonably assume that the amount of time it's taking now to find this with a YouTube reference as guidance, I'll the right YouTube back, reference... The that it would have taken quite a considerable amount of time longer originally for this man to find a rule that Brian, a man he'd never met, had broken, apparently. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying, is he can remember the stuff that he told him about what he thought was wrong, but he can't remember these guidelines that were broken. Like, it's, it's very specific, and we all know, but you just can't go out right and say, you're guilty. But boy, is it easy to tell. Yeah, I think this is just stalling tactics. Oh yeah, he's got nothing, and you know, just, just, lie after longer. lie, delay after delay. Uh, his own bullshit. You need here, we it any here it is. Here's a document. Now let's see several. Let's right, so this is three. from ICWWSE.eu. So this is an educational video. Uh, sorry, an educational document. Yeah. No. Yes, it is. Edu. It's from the N N C E F site. No, it doesn't look like. No, no, it's it doesn't not. look like no, that. It's, not. it's from. Right. It's not no, no, from... no. What does it say in the search bar at the top? It does say Edu. Can we be more specific with where this has come from, please, George? Right here. Can you it see say at the top? What's the citation though? Wsu.edu. What is that? What is S Y S E? Ysu.edu. That's not N C E E S. That's not their own site. Can you open up a, a fresh window and go to the homepage for that site, George? Let's see, is it, in, is it, we want to know what it is. I know, go back, go back to the page you were just on. How do we, how do we establish a homepage for this? Just get rid of the, everything after the edu slash. Yeah, exactly. And that'll take you to the homepage. Yeah, so the forward slash, get rid of the forward, everything up to the forward slash. Yeah, just get that and let's see what that web page is. Biological Systems Engineering. Washington State University. Washington University. State University. So it's a university paper, uh, education. What it says. So it's, it's not the citation from the... So what does that have to do with... Yeah, it's not a regulatory... Yeah, board. Let's phrase it a question. Hold on. Another it's a hold, club. On. <laughs> hold on, hold on, everyone. George, would, yep. you, say, would you say that's... That's accredited citation. It's not come from that board. You're looking at it rather than answering me. The uni uh, Washington State University is tied in with the boards. Many of the universities, board Proof. members come from the universities. And the Why are you not citing from the board itself, the regulatory board itself and, and a university website? The people you were so incensed well, that you had this to call. This is what came up when I did my search just now. So so no, it didn't. We just watched what happened when you came up and did your search with references from a YouTube video, and this was not what came up. We watched you do it for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, maybe even half an hour. So it didn't come up when you did your search originally. It would have come up now. It didn't. It so who's the author of this page, George? It should give an author title at the bottom somewhere, maybe. There weren't. Who's the author of this page? Because this is clearly secondary evidence. It's not primary. 
It's probably even can you, tertiary. Can you just scroll to the bottom, please? Where you are. And I believe the place you called was Florida? Printed with the permission of... Hang on. So you don't seem to understand. What? George, go, go back to the bottom, please. Let's read what it says at the bottom. In regards to the question of application of the code to corporation via V real persons, business from or type should not negate nor influence conformance of individual to the code. The code deals with professional services, services which service must be performed by real persons. Real persons. What's the asterisk say? Politics. The asterisk. Printed with the permission. Policies Click hide. Business structure. Click the hide. It's clearly written to apply to the engineer and items incumbent on members of NSPE to endeavor to live up to its provisions. This George, applies to asterisk, all please. pertinent sections of the code. Okay. This Printed with the permission of what? I can't read the box. It is in the way. Oh. Printed with the permission of NSPE. Now, is NSPE the Board of um, Engineers? It was National the one that was. Society of Professional Engineers. So why is it not cited on the, the guidance that is the official guidance? This is not even the same. It's secondary with a... Well, I was... Asterisk. Look it. To be honest, I wasn't prepared to go through this to get everything in order. I mean, this just all See, of a sudden a came yeah, you, you wanted to give a just so story. Now, if you want me to spend some time to put this all together, I can go off and do it and I can join you at another time. But this That would just, be nice. I, I, I would appreciate that too. Moment, you certainly so seem I... to take enough time to research, to call, and then to well, have the effects downstream occur. That have been done hey, and more of hey, the result you're, you're of. Making, you're, so, making, no, I'm not making. you're making. You're making. You researched every little oh, rule that you could oh, find oh, so that oh. you could persecute this guy. No, 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 no. no. Like hold, on, hold on, Jimbo. You know, Jimbo. Jimbo. You hunted him like a witch. Secondary or otherwise. We've now, hold on, everybody. We've now got to the document. So, secondary or otherwise, fine. If you can now show us what it was specifically that you felt justified a call to the board of the person that licensed a man you'd never met and putting his career at risk. Excellent. In your own time, George. I don't like the way that you stated it, that's all. I'm not going to answer to something when you put it that way. Well, I'm George, asking... can I ask you a question? Yes. If you were going to complain or inquire about the state of an ethical position of somebody that you've never met before, why mm -hmm. would you use the um, the university website as your basis for your claim? Surely you would have gone to the board of direct the board of regulatory controls own documents and cited their rules back to them. Why or did the you not cite involved. their own rules? I object. Number I object one. To okay. If you'd let me explain, I've been trying to explain this is I'm going to bring this back up and Nathan's going to complain. That's fine. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. What the hell is going on? We've just found the document. I've made a pause and said, George, take us to the actual line that you had a grievance with and now we're back on YouTube. Can you go back to that document and tell me what it was specifically yeah. in that document, yeah. secondary or otherwise, that you felt the need to call the board of Brian? That's it. Show me. I'm trying to... Why are you laughing? Look Why are you it, laughing? Yeah, it. George, well, if please. You shut up long enough, I tell you. You're on the YouTube page. Can you come <laughs> off the YouTube page? Twenty-five minutes. Come look off it. this page. Go back to no. the secondary university no. See, information. This is my video. This and is show my me. video. This is where I. I am not interested in your video. In I'm interested in the document. Case from the page that had me concerned. Yeah. Now, go to the original, George. Go to the original. George, please, That's can you go I've to the original to do. document, not That's your YouTube thing. page, please? I'll tell you what. Well, we'll pick this up another time. No, no, I don't run away. I have time to find I'm the so original. Hold on. No way. Don't run I'm away. I'm just doing everything here at the spur of the moment. I'm on the fly. Not spur of the moment. This is after the fact. You've already done it. You've already put this man's career at risk. It's not spur oh, of the moment. God. This is a secondary. Uh, you've come back to it. This isn't spur of the moment. This is the second yes, time you've done this, apparently. This, this inquiry no, 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 was, no, no, oh, no. gosh, a year ago or more. Well, you can't so? remember a year ago. How did you pass your bloody degree? 
Uh, hold on. <laughs> Ra- look, before George runs away, I would like him to actually show me. I'm his... not going to run away. I'm just going to come back when I'm prepared to deal with this because this is all spur of the moment. That not really. Know. You did know this was going to be challenged. Well, I didn't know that I was going to have to pull up these. Uh, yeah, court presented evidence. Yeah. This hangout's now going like an hour. Okay. You've been right. here for most of the hangout. So please present the original page, not the YouTube page, the original one. We went through all these websites, the PDF document. So I'll go and find show it, it and then I'll get back to yeah. I really, okay. don't, okay. I really, 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 really don't want this guy to leave right now. I really I gotta go. Sorry, let me get this straight. We've just Goodbye. spent half an hour finding those documents, and George is just closing all those tabs. What, what do you want? What is it? Sorry, why are you closing those tabs? No, no, why are you closing those wrong. tabs, George? George, why are you closing those tabs? Who was it? It was I... Ranty. It was Ranty. I, I just want you to, from the educational um, site, I would really like you to tell me what was it in the educational site that made you inquire about well, i don't know it. all i w- look at ranty you don't know man really no. oh my god Jesus. look rent what i'm trying to say is i don't know if that educational site is where i originally found this what i did is i went into youtube or into google search and i just typed in this particular part rules of professional conduct and this, and that's what it brought up. I don't know if it, that is the original document that I Nathan. lifted this from. This Nathan. here, George. You see so you just this. took a random source. Nathan, George, what? can I can I ask can I ask you a question, George? Is there any way that you could verbalize? Yeah, is there any way you could verbalize exactly what it is that Brian Mullen said that made you? Start this search. Well, for I was trying to get there, but in the first no, place. to be honest, if you can't I establish the basis of his claim, I was trying to do it, but Nathan won't let me. No, I don't think you should be allowed yeah, to. Do no, it. let no, the guy no. explain in his own words. There's a lot of people in chat that have been waiting for an explanation of this. No, hang on. If you can't I establish the basis of his claim, all. I don't think you should be allowed to get um, no, no, no. by no, the merit. They've heard two thirds of the story. Let the let the guy finish his last third, please. There's a lot of people that are waiting on this. Yeah, because I, I don't want him to leave, and we we don't know anything that we did before he came in, you know, because he spent all this time looking for these documents, and he hasn't still hasn't found what it is that he's looking for. So I yeah, just so want to hear what it is that, it. yeah. So please yeah, get I want to hear reasons, what it is George. that that made him, what Brian said that made him say, oh, I need to look into, is he following ethics or not? I yeah, can, can you say that, George? And even if you don't have a citation, that's fine. Just just explain what it was that triggered you and what you think you was reporting at the time. That's it. Exactly. And then, we, you know, you can come back at another date. That's fine. And remember, you started off with the word ethical. I, right. Okay. So let's hear it. I, I'm not going to speak now. I'm going to put myself on mute. Me too. Okay. Brian Mullen had produced a number of videos that... <clears throat> called into question his competency as an engineer. The... In your opinion. And can I just say that you originally said ethical. You didn't say competent. Come on, come on. Let him do his thing. Yeah, he's changing his story, though. He said ethical. We're never going to get to it if we keep interrupting him. Come on. Rules of professional conduct go directly to ethics on... Um, was that uh, Mr. Riley saying that? Yeah, but you can't establish that with a principle that you're relying on. And you started off by saying it was ethics, no. but now you're talking about... A well, it has to of... go with ethics. So a person's that's... conduct as an engineer directly... Yeah, but you're talking about does, incompetence. That's not the same as ethicalness. Well, guys, guys, just yeah. let him finish well, with it does what he says. You misrepresent yourself and misrepresent... Uh, just listen uh, to what he says. ...credentials. Literally, let him say what he needs to say. In part here, E here, it says, registrants shall express a professional opinion publicly only when it is founded upon adequate knowledge of the facts and a competent evaluation of the subject matter. Okay? In my opinion, he's in violation of that. He but was not is, competent. He did not present a competent evaluation of the subject George. matter. 
because I was very easily able to show where he went wrong and his misrepresentations of in certain of his videos, particularly episode three, was George. a total botch job of deriving Kepler's third law. Let's say that you're right. The basis on which you claim that he was wrong is a university paper that's internal to that university. No, no look it. I'm not saying that's what came up when I did the search. I, no. I would have to go back. It's, and, it's, not been, it's not been changed since 2007, George. There's two types of documents. There's the rules of professional conduct and there are the uh, code of ethics. What I particularly focused on is in the rules of professional conduct. Yeah, but you haven't though. Into the ethics also. George, you haven't done that. Hold on. How does this even apply? Exactly. What the hell does Kepler's law have to do with engineering, George? He wasn't. If it's like it has a lot to do with it. He that, wasn't that, actually that. applying his profession. He wasn't. He was just making a YouTube video. How does that apply to his profession that's as an engineer? One, that's just one of several videos that he misrepresented misrepresented and got the engineering principles wrong how and does that, that apply to his profession yeah, well very it just a youtube he's video an it's not he's part of his engineer. profession if he he's wasn't going to represent him, his engineering no. profession if he's going to represent himself and use his so-called skills engineering skills to without being paid jobs it goes directly not if he's not being paid and being able oh but he is being paid that's oh thing. really his job yes so he he when he made that video he was actually hired as an engineer that's to the do problem that video. no not to make the video but it just it goes to in his job performance as a professional engineer how now no, it was his personal not, opinion how does that apply to his any, profession as not, an engineer i, would, I agree with i I would not have had an issue with him if he did not sit in his videos and telling people he's a professional engineer, he's uh, licensed in um, uh, Florida, he's licensed in, I, I, I believe, uh, North Carolina, uh, and maybe one other state. But he is. Yeah, but no, if he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Everyone, hold on. Uh, hold on. Yes, hold on, George. You've, hold on, George, George. You just said yes. you don't like him saying that he's an accredited engineer. He is. I, I don't see how this applies to his win. profession. I'll win. No, sure, you can't I'll just repeat it. So, George, you've just stated you didn't like him saying he was a professional engineer. And he is. Say what? I'll say it a third time. You said you didn't like him stating that he was an engineer. And he is an engineer. Oh, that's fine. You can say you're an engineer, but you, you said I don't like that he's stating he's an engineer in a YouTube video, and he is an engineer. You've just contradicted yourself and said, "Well, that's fine. You can state that you're an engineer." Oh, he did much more than that. Yeah, but so this? based on the fact that he's stated he's an engineer and he is. You have decided to contact him based on your disagreement about his YouTube content. That's what I've got so far, George. Well, his YouTube well, Kep content was misrepresenting the profession of engineering. No, but, no, but that's, that's not what the rules why. say. That's not what this rule says. Oh, yeah. It oh, is. Let's face it. If he was a Glover, that phone call would never have been made. It's a prejudicial that's, that's, phone George, call. George, that's, 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 this rule states a right? professional that's expression. That means that when he is actually being an engineer, yeah, in his profession, he's being paid to do an engineering job, then he can't do that. That does not imply that he can't just express his opinion and share that he is an engineer. That's, that's fine. No, I, I have no problem with that. I that's not what you said. You said, I don't like him stating that he's an engineer on a YouTube video. Now you're saying that's absolutely fine. So why the contradiction, George? There is no contradiction. That's you said specifically, I don't like him stating that he's an engineer whilst referencing a YouTube video that is made. Now 
given that Arwen has pointed out in a few minutes after having all the documentation only just fresh and on the spur of the moment for Arwen, he has found a completely contrary point to what you are asserting. Now you're saying that's good and well and fine. Well, you're completely contradicting yourself. No, I'm not contradicting myself. You said, I don't like him stating that he's an engineer. No, that's not what That's what you said. Those were your exact words. That's what you said verbatim. And I interrupted you and repeated it to you verbatim. I mean that he's a professional engineer. He is. He is. He is a professional engineer. But he's misrepresenting himself by... No, he's not. He is a professional engineer and he is perfectly entitled to state that. You said, I don't like that. No. He also yes. said that. I, I am horrified by no. the incompetent by the competency that the lack of competency that he demonstrated in these videos not in his professional life didn't you listen to what arwin just said you complete dingbat R arwin please can you repeat what you have just said so george can actually listen to it if he can shut his mouth long enough to actually listen yeah not on a youtube video george in his professionalism in his career not on a youtube video Ah, but he used his profession to try no, to... No, he didn't. He stated his job, and he is perfectly entitled to do so. You just didn't like it. Oh. No, he was... Yeah, you said, I don't like it. I didn't like that. Yeah? You didn't like him stating that he was an engineer whilst holding a different belief to you about the shape of the earth. That's the issue here. No, the issue is that he was using his license and his professional standing to give a sense of authority to what he was doing when what he was doing was wrong. I don't see well, that as a violation him, of the rules. But that's right. only in your opinion, Arwen, George. He's not listening to no, you, Arwin. No, it's not my opinion. I Arwin, maybe if George can shut up long enough. Totally I doubt he can. He's got verbal diarrhea at the moment because he's on the ropes. So ahead. George probably won't be able to contain other. himself and stop ejaculating. When will you one. stop ejaculating? Thank you. Arwin, please can okay. you repeat for George Bye. what you have just said? Okay. Right, so... Oh, George wow. has dropped. George has decided that the heat has got too much and that his dislike of Brian Mullen stating that he was an engineer and is an engineer, that just wasn't to George's satisfaction. He just didn't like it. Yeah. Nathan? Brian Mullen, when he made that yeah. video, he did not so do so as an engineer. That was his private <laughs> video that he made. has nothing to do with his profession. Like we said, yes. what does Sorry, Kepler's, George. hold on, what does Kepler's third law have to do with engineering for Nothing. crying out loud? What Nothing. is he going to have, bridges orbiting other bridges? Nathan, Unbelievable. Can you, can you share my screen, Nathan? I just want to give you a are. comparison direct to what George did. You are. To what I, I'm on. Right, so George all, played solic himself. all solicitors in the UK are all governed by the Solicitors Regulation Authority. And all you've got to do is search in for SRA Code of Conduct. And in, in the SRA Code of Conduct, and everybody can click on it, there's a handbook. And in the handbook, this, this is the guide to every solicitor. And everybody gets the same one, right? And in the handbook, you can go through all of the chapters, and it talks about every single part of it. Um, and, I mean, it's, it's self-explanatory, but to read it is complicated if, you don't, if you've never read it before. But in, in essence, you have main principles at the beginning that you have to override but if george really was an engineer he would know the authority that he's looking for he would know the documents he would know the exact page the exact citation for the exact claim he's about to make and if it was the case that in this case you must uphold the rule of law and the proper administration of justice if he felt that brian didn't do something he would be able to cite it precisely immediately without umming and ahhing up and downing and I, 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 he did I, say I, it. He, yeah, he, he did but say he did it. State it, was, it, and he was, it was absolutely Kepler's, wrong. No, it hang, on, Kepler, hang on, hang on. specifically no, stated no, no, no. that what when actually working within Arwin. your profession, Arwin. what then he actually did, it applies. Arwin. When you make what a YouTube actually, video, Arwin. it does not apply. Arwin, Arwin, Arwin. Look, look, Listen, look, guys, what guys, actually, just keep it. What just everybody, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody, take a breath. George is now gone. There is no need for this to be a heated conversation. Let's keep it civil, one at a time. I just want to round out nice and calm. 
Well, what he actually did was uh, re- uh, cited a page from a university web page, and that is not the citation that you would be doing if you were trying to ring the regulatory body. You would go to the regulatory body, you would find the exact code, you would go to the exact principle, like I've just done here. And if you were an engineer, you would know that immediately. There wouldn't be any of this umming and ah in. You would go to it exactly because you know exactly where it is, where to look, what to look for, and pin it off immediately, and he did not do that. So I've got to question the, the credibility of George as a witness in the first place because he couldn't do that. He went to the wrong citation. It's ridiculous that. Exactly. Yeah, you're correct. Exactly. But not only that, he went worse, to the board man. and the board didn't reprimand the man for anything. Correct. How right was he in going to the board in the first place? Zero wrong. Percent. Completely wrong. Zero percent. It was and. willful. It was malicious, intentional. The guy is a rat. For me, um, but he also well. yeah. purposely misinterpret that rule that he actually used because that rule only applies when he's actually working, working within his client. profession. Yes. Yeah, and he wasn't outside because he that, was making a YouTube video. Life. Yeah, that's it, private life. Outside of his profession because A, exactly. he's not being paid. And B, it's on YouTube. I mean, how unprofessional can you be? We're all a bunch of drongos, right? It, you can't have it both ways. You're either a moron on YouTube or you're a professional. You can't have it both well, he uh, said I Kepler. He said I his he disagreement was. Something. He did it like, and said, "I'm gonna find a way to get this guy to shut up." Yeah, That's right. But remember, he he I brought think... up he brought up Kepler's law twice. That was his main point. And then he said, "Oh, and then he there was but, some other stuff." But hang on, he actually said ethically though, not competence. He originally stated ethics. Right, and he's yeah, attaching it. That's he's... how you get somebody in trouble. When well, you when you bring it to a you he can't just come out with a video and say oh this guy's wrong I gotta because he said he said he countered his argument in videos that he made right so he could have stopped there but he didn't want to so he had to go to the ethics because that's how you get somebody in trouble yeah which is a, a pussy move. yeah well, well we have the RAT word. It shows what yeah. uh, that did, though. It shows how much uh, power there is on both sides. Can yeah, somebody well. please tell me what does Kepler's third law have to do with engineering? Nothing. Thank you. He, he probably could even tell you. Huh? No, that's all he had. He had no other examples besides Kepler's law. He didn't well, say give him a week else. or two, and he'll find a citation for it or create one. Nah, but, nah, but remember as well, he played he himself. Played himself. I'd like website. to summarize what what this guy basically tried to take Brian Mullen down on, on a technicality, and he got it wrong because that rule that he used, whether it be a, a legitimate rule or not, states clearly that it is only when somebody is working within his profession as an engineer not just referencing yeah. to being an engineer when you're actually working as an engineer then you cannot like do this and he was simply making a youtube video so it is a complete fallacy it is and it is a total he misinterpretation is an engineer he I'm... is actually allowed to say he is an engineer yeah you might you not can say he that he... doesn't have yeah, anything of course it, I, I, I think an engineer, engineer can actually go to a uh... you are then working as an engineer it just yeah, says, I... it's just a background reference i think if an engineer was uh, spotted at a go-go bar with topless dancers i don't think there'd be an ethics violation there either. <laughs> You know, they'd be asking um, what was the address they want to go, right? Yeah, really, yeah they'd want to know. George, <laughs> just, uh, just, George has just said in chat, I could give you several examples, but it's hard to talk to this group. No, it's I not. don't see how it was. We gave <laughs> you the entire hour and a half to find yeah. some stuff. We, he's we, exposed. He's been like three, four good minutes of silence. Just minutes to say what he wanted to Who cares? Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll yeah. tell you what. One thing for sure. I'm, after this hangout, I'm te- I need to take a shower. <laughs> well, the guy's a rat, you know. I get some rat traps out with some cheese. He's you know, a rat. You'll, you'll catch a George. Well, you learn from these experiences, and you can you, off, you, you can apply them to future people that you talk to, and you'll just know it right away. Oh, you're just a, you're a stuttering staller. Like we get it. We know what you're doing. You can't find the evidence, so they'll just you know drag you into it, and you'll break it. And let's be honest, the only reason why anybody would try and make that phone call would be for nefar- nefarious reasons. It's Absolutely. not with good intent. I agree with you, exactly. Danny. The, the term is vexatious. The intent was willful and to hurt. It's yeah. liable. 
I'm you know, the gay, this guy. The fact is, I think in law, if they're both in the continental USA, if Brian Mullen saw this film and talked to a lawyer, he could possibly have a civil case. I agree. Honestly, he should. Absolutely. He's been damaged, and this guy admits he willfully did it. Whatever his justification. Tried to get the proof possibly. out of him, and he couldn't present any. No, this would be a good film for Brian Mullen to see, especially if he has been damaged by this guy. And with that, I'm going to say first and foremost, a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of the live audience for tuning in and hopefully sharing this debate. And of course, a massive thank you to all of the debating panel for making this debate possible. If you hated the show, then you know exactly what to do. But if you like the show, maybe consider sharing it with a friend or subscribing if you have not done so already. Do share. Yeah, please share it wide and far, far wide and far, far and wide. I've been Nathan Oakley and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day!